Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got episode number 86 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode here on MLB 21 The Show. And we are back for game number four of the American League Championship Series back here in Anaheim. And if you've missed the first three games of this series, all three of those games have been decided by one run. And the Indians currently lead 2-1. to one. It has been an outstanding series and we now continue it to game four and it's not a must win for the angels but definitely it's one you really want to have considering you don't want to be down three games to one like you were last year and Patrick Sandoval is going to be on the mound for game five and then you go back to Cleveland for game six and seven again if you get there if you can get that Patrick Sandoval win so basically it all comes down to tonight for the angels where they will have Sandy Alcantara going for them and folks if you have not yet make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB 21 the show here on the channel as we get game number four of the American League Championship Series underway from Anaheim, California. Let's see if the Angels can get the job done. And of course, pitching tonight is going to be Sandy Alcantara. So far, 2.45 ERA for him with a 1-0 record. He went 7 one thirds in his first start in the postseason. He will see Ahmed Rosario first up on the 1-1 count. Rosario going to hit that ball on the ground, but right to Josh Bell. Bell going to take himself one down in the inning for Ryan Mountcastle. On the 2-2 count, Mountcastle going to hit that one on the ground. Corey Seager going to make that play. Tough hop, but he makes the throw to first. That'll be the second out of the inning. And now Marcelo Zuna up on the 2-2. Going to hit that one into left field. He gets around that one. But in left tonight is going to be Willie Calhoun. He makes that play as we go to the bottom of the first. Carlos Vargas pitching for the Indians tonight. One start, 3.38 ERA, 5 and one third pitched in his first start in the postseason. Brandon Marsh going to help Vargas out right there. He's going to swing at ball two and hit that one into left field. There is Marcelo Zuna. One down so far in the inning for Mike Trout. And on the 3-1 count, Trout will draw ball. Four. He will be on first with one out for the best hitter in the game. And Josh Bell. Bell going to line a fastball into left field, but it will not get down. Ozuna is there. And here's your postseason bracket. The New York Mets are heading back to the World Series. They beat the Milwaukee Brewers in five games. So the winner of this Indians Angels series will play the Mets. Now, Corey Seager here with two outs going to pull a fastball. Deep right. Feel that balls up. And it's out of here. Corey Seager with the two run bomb. His second of the postseason. 379 feet for the former AL MVP and the Angels get off to an early start here in game four they are up two to nothing they strike on Carlos Vargas early and they give Sandy Alcantara a little bit of a cushion to start off this ball game Anthony Rendon with two outs comes up and he's gonna strike out on that slider way but it is all right the Angels score early they score first and now we go to the top of the second. Daryl Cooley up for the Indians. Going to hit that ball up the middle. And that will be a leadoff single for the Cleveland Indians. Now to the plate will be the DH. It is Novelli Marte. He's going to hit that one on the ground. Anthony Rendon going to try and make the turn. He's got one. Can they get two? Yes, they will. They double up Marte. So two down in the inning for Corey Lee. And Lee hits one high in the air center field. Mike Trout going back. He cannot get there. Lee is going to be on with a two-out double bringing Hunter Dozier to the plate with two outs. One, two count for Dozier. High break and curveball for Alcantara. Not the pitch you want to give to Dozier. And he's going to rip one deep into left field. And just like that, we are tied. 426 feet for Dozier. And just as the Angels score, of course, like it's been in previous games, the Indians respond immediately. Jake Bowers will strike out on that sinker away, but it was a two-out rally for the Indians in the top of the second that tied this game up at two. We go to the bottom of the second here. Castellanos going to ground one right to short. That'll be the easy first out of the inning. And now to the plate will be the left fielder tonight. It is Willie Calhoun. On the 3-2 count, Calhoun's going to strike out. Shohei Otani not playing tonight considering he just pitched last night and his stamina is super low because that will be the show. Can't manage the stamina correctly in this game. Jeremiah Jack's going to fly out to end off the bottom of the second. Let's go to the top of the third. Oscar Mercado starting us off here. He's going to hit one soft in the ground. Anthony Rendon, though, with a bare hand play. And what a stretch by Josh Bell. One down now for Ahmed Rosario. Full count. He will draw the walk on that slider away. So runner on first here with one out for Ryan Mountcastle. Rosario's in motion. And that is a hit and run to perfection right there for the Indians. So they will now have runners at the corners with one out for Marcelo Zuna. On the one-two count of Zuna on the ground. Right to short. Seager got to hurry up. Seager to Jackson. Jackson to Bell and they turn the double play. So the Angels get out the inning still tied at two. And here comes Mitch Garver still playing because 
Let's face it, he's better than Kibit Ruiz, even though he does strike out right there. So one down in the inning now for Brandon Marsh. On the 3-1 count, Marsh draws the walk. So a runner on first here with one out for Mike Trout. He drew a walk in his first at bat. Did he draw it again? Yes, he did. Back-to-back -back walks give the Angels runners on first and second with one out for Josh Bell. Bell rips one in the right field, and that one is going to be caught. Marsh going to tag from second to third. He will be on third, and what? They're saying he left early. I mean, oh my goodness. You don't see that one called often in this game. And yeah, the Angels don't get anything out of the bottom of the third. So we go straight to the top of the fourth inning. Alcantara going to force a fly out right there. One gone in the inning for Novelli Marte. 2-2 two -two count for him. Swag and a miss on the slider by Sandy Alcantara. Two down now for Corey Lee. And on the 2-2 two -two count, Lee hits one on the ground to Jeremiah Jackson. Jackson will make that play ranging to his left. Let's go to the bottom of the fourth inning. To the plate will be Corey Seager. He homered in his last at bat. Did he do it again? Seager, no. It's going to be caught in right field by Jake Bowers. One down now in the inning for Anthony Rendon. In the one-two count, Rendon gets a hold of the slider. Deep left field, and you feel like that ball should have carried more. So now we got two gone in the inning for Nicholas Castellanos on the one-two count. He gets a high-breaking slider. That's going to be left over the middle of the plate, but it will be played well by the shortstop right there. That, of course, was Corey Lee. We go to the top of the fifth inning, and that will be a leadoff single here for the Indians. Alcantara gives up that grounder right up the middle. So runner on first here for Jake Bowers, and Bowers in the two-two count will strike out on the curve ball down. So that will bring Oscar Mercado to the plate. Two-two count. Ball's hit. Oh, okay. Bell gets it on the fly. Dozier gets back to first so two gone in the inning and that will be a strikeout of Ahmed Rosario we go to the bottom of the fifth inning Willie Calhoun leads us off Calhoun in the slider deep right feel that ball is gonna be caught again oh my goodness hard outs by Rendon Seager and Calhoun and now Jeremiah Jackson strikes out in the high and inside heat two down in the inning for Mitch Garver he will strike out on basically the same exact pitch Let's go to the sixth inning. Still tied at two runs apiece. Ryan Mountcastle lines one hard right into center field. By the way, the Angels only with one hit so far in this game. A lot of loud outs, but only one ball that's gotten down. And that was the ball that actually got out. It was the Corey Seager home run. Marcelo Zuna right here, though, will fly out to Mike Trout. So one down out here in the top of the sixth for Daryl Cooley. The catcher on the one, two hits one on the ground. Corey Seager's going to make the turn over to Jeremiah Jackson. Jackson the bell and bell with the scoop. They make the double play. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth inning here. Brandon Marsh leading us off. He gets a hold of the fastball. Will this one get out? That ball's up. And that's going to be hit number two for the Angels. Brandon Marsh with the solo shot. is second in the postseason. 371 feet. And both hits so far in this game for the Angels have been home runs. It was Corey Seager first. And now it is Brandon Marsh. As the Angels go up 3-2. to two, And that will do it for Vargas. Colin Wills now comes out a pitch for the Indians. The 30-year-old right-hander will come out to see Mike Trout first in the 3-1, and Trout gets hit number three. A liner in the left field will get down. Runner on first here with no outs for Josh Bell. On the 1-1 count, Bell on the ground to second. The only play is going to be at first, so Bell will move Trout over to second here with one out for Corey Seager. 2-2 two -two count. He's going to strike out on the 12-6 down. Two gone now for Anthony Rendon. And not a very good swing by Tony. We go to the seventh inning. Here to pitch will be the 6'8 righty. It is Aaron Slager's ERA at 4.5 so far in this postseason. Over four appearances. Novelli Marte is his first batter. And on the 1-2 count, Marte puts one into right field. It is Cleveland's seventh hit of this game. And now Corey Lee on the 1-2 count hits one. And it's just going to get down. It bloops over the head of Anthony Rendon. Marte is going to try for third. And he's going to be in there. And Lee goes to second as well off the bat throw by Willie Calhoun. It's not like Calhoun would have got anyone. But still, runners on second and third. And that's a key strikeout right there of Hunter Dozier. Absolutely huge. So one down for Jake Bowers. He's going to strike out as well. Down looking on the changeup, so Mercado in the 2 2 hits one to Josh Bell. Then diving play, the throw to Sliggers, and the Angels are still ahead. Aaron Sliggers gets out of a jam, and now Nicholas Castellanos gonna pick up a leadoff single here in the bottom of the seventh for Willie Calhoun. On the 1 1 count, the left fielder gets a two seam fastball, and he just gets under it. In right field is Jake Bowers. That'll be the first out of the inning. And now Jeremiah Jackson up on the 2-1 count. Breaks his bat. Daryl Cooley's going to try to hurry up and throw out Jackson, which he will. So two down now in the inning for Mitch Garver. Runner on second. He gets a, just a breaking 12-6. 
right over the center of the plate he's gonna pop out though as we go to the top of the eighth still with that one run lead and here comes the lefty it is brett martin era of nothing so far in the postseason over four games pitched he will see Ahmed Rosario first. So the one-two count, Rosario hits that one straight to the hot corner, right to Anthony Rendon. Routine first out for the Angels. Now up is Ryan Mountcastle. Full count for him. He will swing at ball four. It's a curveball in, and Mike Trout will be there in center field. So two up, two down for Martin. Can he get Marcelo Ozuna? Ozuna hits one high in the air to right field. Going back is Brandon Marsh at the warning track. Marsh makes the play. So the Angels are three outs away, but first they get a shot in the bottom of the eighth. Wills is still pitching for the Indians as he will force a pop out right there. Brandon Marsh into left field. One down now in the inning for Mike Trout on the full count. Trout gets a curveball. That one is going a mile deep into right center field. And the play is going to be made at the track by Jake Bowers. So two down for Josh Bell. Bell surprisingly hitless so far, and that will remain as he grounds out to short. Let's go get the job done. In the top of the ninth, it is Aaron Bummer. Two games so far in the postseason. One save, ear if nothing. Just needs three outs. Daryl Cooley's up first in the 1-1, one -one, and he's going to pop him up. There we go. One pitch, one out. Corey Seager makes the play. And now to the plate will be Novelli Marte. And, oh, Aaron Bummer's clutching the top of his shoulder, and he's going to be in some agony. He's going to have to be removed from this game. That's the least of his worries. So great. Look who's coming back. I mean, he's our only other guy in the pen. It's Michael Feliz. I mean, you want us to go to, to, to Lon Rivas? He's got an ear of seven. So Feliz, oh my goodness. I mean, you can't make this up. Our closer gets hurt. They bring in Michael Feliz. And like what he's done throughout this entire postseason, he just gives up more runs. Unbelievable. Novelli Marte in the left field. We are tied at three runs. I, I mean, just incredible. Corey Lee hard out into center field. Mike Trout is there. We've got to pitch the three batters here at Feliz. So Dozier's got to come up on the three, two. He gets him to strike out. Okay, so we got to try to hear walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. Corey Sear on the three, two count hits one on the ground. That ball will not get through. At second is Ahmed Rosario. One down in the inning for Anthony Rendon. Tony in the three, one will draw the walk. So winning run at first base for Nicholas Castellanos. So the one-two count, he hits one on the ground, and that's going to be a double play ball. Easy turn for the Indians. We are heading to extra innings. All these games between these two teams go down to the wire, and I guess we're going to bring in Lon Rivas. I mean, sure, the lefty's coming in the game. He's just a not as good Aaron Bummer. Jake Bowers up first in the one-two strikes out. Splitter down for Rivas. Gets him one down in the inning. For Rio Ruiz, the pinch hitter on the one-two. I don't know why they brought in the lefty, but Rivas is going to get him on the slider away. So two down now for Ahmed Rosario. Three-two count. He will draw the walk. So runner's going to be on first here for Ryan Mountcastle, the former Baltimore Oriole in the one-two. Hits one to Anthony Rendon. Rendon throws him out. Can we walk it off here in the bottom of the 10th? And again, if you've noticed, there is no runner on second base here. So we're just going to play on. Willie Calhoun's going to ground out right back to Daryl Cooley. One down here in the bottom of the 10th inning for Jeremiah Jackson on the 2-1. I thought about bringing in Shohei here, but we're going to keep Jeremiah in. And he's going to just ground out right there with the bunt attempt. So Mitch Garver now comes up on the 1-2. Garver up the middle. Keeper Ruiz wasn't doing this. Mitch Garver with a two-out base hit, winning run on first base for the top of the order. It is Brandon Marsh, and on the 2-2, two -two, Marsh stares at strike three. We go to the top of the 11th inning now. Pitching is Rossiel Iglesias. He's got no stamina left, but it's either him or Kirby Yates, and Kirby Yates is 40 years old, 63 overall. So we're going to bring in Iglesias for Marcelo Zuna. Ozuna hits one into center field. There will be Brandon Marsh waving off Mike Trout. He makes it one down for Daryl Cooley on the 3-2. That's not a strike. The ball's in the strike zone, but they call it a walk. So Novelli Marte down the 3-2, strikes on the slider. So two down now in the inning for Corey Lee. And on the 3-1 count, Lee will draw the walk. Iglesias' second walk gives Hunter Dozier a shot here on the 2-2. Dozier hits that one right to Corey Seager. And Seager's gonna boot it. So they are loaded with two outs for Jake Bowers. We're bringing in Jose Suarez. Lefty, lefty. He's the only lefty left. He's a long reliever, but we're going to bring him in. So 3-2 count. Runners going in. Jake Bowers. Oh, my goodness. Deep right field. Going back on it is Brandon Marsh and the Cleveland Indians. In the top of the 11th inning, get a grand slam. Jake Bowers, 367 feet. And the Angels go down 7-3 here in the 11th. And, yeah, I don't know what you want me to say. 
I mean, everything that happened in this game, Aaron Bummer goes down with an injury. We shouldn't even be here, honestly. It's all Michael Feliz's fault. It is, man. I mean, Greg Jones comes up here. He's going to fly out into center field. The Angels go to the bottom of the 11th inning, needing four runs to stay in this game. Adrian Almeida is going to come out here. It's not even a save situation anymore for the Indians. Almeida, 2.45 ERA so far in this postseason. Mike Trout's up first. He's going to strike out fastball in. I mean, all right. One down for Josh Bell. Batting from the right side of the plate. Not his best side, but... He's going to draw a walk, so hey, we have a one-out base runner for Corey Seager. Seager on the 3-2 count, hits one in the left field. That would be the second out of the inning. The Angels down to their final out this game, and okay, they just bring in Taylor Rogers to pitch to him. 4.50 ERA so far in the postseason for Rogers. Final hope for Anaheim is Tony Two Bags. Anthony Rendon, 3-2 count. Going to pop out on that sweeping curve. Daryl Cooley behind the dish. Makes the play, and we are done here in Anaheim. It's a 7-3 win here for the Cleveland Indians. Not the Angels' best game by far. They had it in the bag. They're up 3-2. In the top of the ninth inning, Bummer gets the first out. He pops out Daryl Cooley, and then two batters later. The next batter, honestly, yeah, it's just the next batter. Michael Feliz gives up a solo shot, and the rest is history. The Cleveland Indians win this one by a score of 7-3. Never a dull moment between these two teams, but if the Angels are going to try to go back-to-back -back this season, they're going to have to go to Cleveland win two games and oh by the way win game five tomorrow night here at home with Pachadik Sundayfall on the hill so we will see what happens in game five not looking good for the Angels but they did come back from 3-1 last season against the Oakland Athletics we will see if they can do it again against the Indians and folks thank y'all for watching episode number 86 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode here on MLB 21 the show if you have not yet though make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more the Mamba forever